Today I've got a 2011 Ford Ranger in the garage. Steve and I are working on this thing, and um, this video we're gonna do the set of tie rod ends on the track. Before we get started, remember to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and subscribe to all of our notifications. That way they'll get a heads up when we upload a new video. And we're gonna remove the cotter pin for the tie rod end. Now we're changing this, so if this thing breaks and gives us a hard time, we're just gonna put the impact socket on it, whale it off because we're changing it anyways. So um, this is a 21 millimeter wrench, which we have an adjustable here to crack this loose here. And we're just gonna leave it loose because we're gonna put the tie rod in, thread it back on the amount of turns that we took off, and then we're gonna set the toe on it after we're done there. So let's start by taking the tie rod in off, bending the clip back over here, wiggling it through. Now we use the pliers as leverage to pull these off. This should be a 19 millimeter to move this. Now you can use a tie rod fork if you like. We're gonna just doink this thing with the hammer and separate it. Push it up. Now if you were just gonna do the spindle hub bearing and not change your tie rod, you could do it the same way and you don't damage the boot by hitting the spindle and shocking it and then this will pop up. Now this is gonna thread right off. So we're gonna count our turns now. So both tie rods on these vehicles are the same part number. So um, as long as you count your tie rod, your turns, you're gonna be good. And then um, we'll check the toe on it. But for the most part, if you just change your tie rod on this thing, you should be right within spec. If you don't replace this nut, just crack this nut loose right here. Um, now you can just change your, your tie rod and it's going to bound right up against the nut where it was. So now you haven't changed your adjustment. So we're going to count our turns coming off, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen and a half is what we came off here. So let's get our new tie rod out. I'm gonna match it up. Now we have to, we're not gonna use the new nut that they gave us, this one here for the tie rod sleeve adjusting sleeve. We don't need that. We're gonna use the new one that goes on here. And we'll take a seven millimeter wrench and we're gonna thread our grease fitting in here. And sometimes these things are a pain and sometimes they go right in. Let's see what we have today. In a seven millimeter, you wanna make sure it's straight like we have there. I usually put my thumb on it for the first turn to make sure that it's threading in straight. And it is. Get it snug. Yeah, looks good. Okay, all right, let's go back over to the vehicle. We've got a little nevices on this. We said we were 18 and a half turns. Let's see if that ends us back at the gym, not here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this one is pretty much right there now. So it's tight right to the nut. We're gonna put our tie rod end in right now. I'm gonna catch the nut, the new nut that we have. I'm looking at the position of the um, tie rod, I, I kinda like to have the thing turned a little bit more 
so it's going to go on a little straighter and you can not don't grab the threads but grab the metal part and see if we can just rotate this just a little bit like that okay this is a 19 as well and we'll use the ratchet hand ratchet and we'll snug this up or we can just zip it with the gun i think i'm going to use the hand ratchet you don't want to over tighten this Now we're going to start looking. It's snug. We're going to start looking for a hole. We passed it right there. Now let's go to the next one. And we're almost there. Right there. That's all I need. I don't have to crank the hell out of this. If I can get the cotter pin, I got it tight enough. And I got it in. Take my side cutters. Pull down on the, t on the clip. Bend the front one out. And the back side will cut the back side. We're going to grease this now. And you don't have to grease it too much, but you want to get it so you get a little bit of grease coming out of it. Now the grease, the, the tie rods that run here did not have grease fittings before, so now we actually have a couple of grease fittings on this vehicle. So we're going to grease it till we hear a little grease coming out. Until my hand falls off, one of you. Huh? <laughs> you can see the boot filling up. Okay, we just got a little right there coming up. That's all I want. And this thing is all back together. After we get it down, we're going to set the toe on it, which we've shown you in another video. Um, and this thing will be all ready to go.